Hello doers, my name is Jose Ignacio and today we're discussing the multi-company feature that enables directors and managers to manage multiple legal entities within a single Odoo database. We can separate each entity independently, but also allow them to share resources when needed, such as raw materials, products, vendors, and customers. That way, executives can compare revenue, inventory, and cash across all entities without much difficulty. Within each company, individual business managers operate and run the day-to-day -day business operations with cross-company operations when needed. So the primary benefit of managing multiple companies through Odoo is to integrate these companies and their workflows into a single database, facilitating simplified intercompany transactions and consolidated reporting. So let's first determine whether multi-company is the right choice for you compared to other similar features inside of Odoo. So the best indicator whether someone should create an additional company is if the legal entities have separate tax IDs. If not, they're probably not a separate legal entity. And in that situation, a branch would be more appropriate. For multi-company, it's used to isolate legal entities or support different currencies. While each company needs its own chart of accounts, it is possible to share individual accounts between companies. With all the information in one database, it helps consolidate reporting and manage operations in a single location. So doers, because we can't delete companies after we create them, we have to be 200, no, 300% sure we want to create a new company. We know for certain that we need this feature when legal entities are recognized as separate taxable entities by the government and are required to file independent tax returns. A typical use case for multi-company would be a company with distinct subsidiaries. Think of any franchise where each business is owned by different people and so taxes must be filed separately. Business owners should not be able to access any accounting data or personal employee details of other chains, but executives with access to both can still run consolidated sales and cost reports across every franchise. Branches can also be used to limit access. However, the main difference with a multi-company structure is that all branches submit their taxes as a single legal entity. For example, a large company with many divisions in charge of their own sales might segment operations into branches. Access rights are the per app permissions to limit a user's access to different apps, menus, and configurations. For more information on that, check out our access rights videos. Okay, now that we know the why, let's see how to set this all up. To get started, let's go into the settings application over here and get to the section that says companies and select managed companies. See this button that says new over here? Well, to create a new company, you would select it. However, we've already created Stealthy Wood Sister Company operating inside of Belgium, and it was called Stealthy Boys if you're American, Stealthy Bois if you happen to be Belgium or French. But back on this form, make sure to fill this whole page out. Remember, the most important fields here are country as well as currency. So the selected country determines the fiscal package, and the selected currency is used as the base currency for your chart of accounts and it is the currency your taxes are reported in. But seriously, once that you set that up and you have selected a currency and you make your first transaction, you're locked in, we're both locked in, and that cannot be changed, so make sure you set this in the country correctly here. Okay, moving on to the most and the next important step. We're gonna set the fiscal package for the second company. So to do that, we'll first need to switch to the company. And we're going to go back over to our homepage so I can show this visually. Okay, so see up here at the top where it says Stealthy Wood. If I click it, and then I select Stealthy Bois over here. Would you look at that? We have now switched over and we have a nice visual cue because it says so in the very top right corner. Now, when we look at this up at the top, you'll notice we also have some check marks over here. With both Wood and Bois selected, I can access records from both companies. The highlighted one over here indicates the active company and that's very important when working in a multi-company setup every configuration and action applies to the company you're currently in to stay accurate always double check that you're operating in the correct company before changing any settings in this case we ensure that we're working with right now with our belgian company stealthy bois all right now let's go back over to our general settings that we have right here and let's click on our accounting tab over here to the left all right, so at the very top, you'll notice we have our fiscal localization setting. This field disappears after you create your first journal entry, so pay attention. Inside of our package field that we have right there, well, this is where you select the localization package for your country. Once it's set, Odoo installs the relevant chart of accounts for that country. 
Here, since we have already set the country and our company settings, the package is correctly set to Belgium, so we're all good. However, if you've already added a chart of accounts, which can be found by, actually, in configuration, and chart of accounts inside of your accounting application, setting the fiscal package afterwards will completely erase your custom chart of accounts, so be careful. Remember that, Odoo users. I'm not going to go show that right now. Anyways, with the fiscal package in place, it's time to review the Belgian taxes that have been set up and determine if there's anything else I need to do. So we're actually going to open up the accounting application and select configuration. So that's where I mentioned earlier, our chart of accounts. But in this case, we're gonna head over to our taxes area. Okay, so here we see that we have configured everything. Actually, we've been configured to match Belgian tax requirements. Wow really was just two steps to set up taxes. Thank you, Odu. I'm even shocked right now. So finally, I need to ensure that the accountant for my Belgian office has user access to Stealthy Bois taxes. So let's go back over to our settings application. I promise you, we're almost done here. You see in this area that is users and right there, we're gonna manage them. Okay, so who is our nice little Belgian accountant? Well, inside of here for our accountant at Dallas, we need to make sure that they happen to have the right rights. So here we have our multi-company section. Our allowed companies field is set to right now our Belgian company. Below that are all of the access rights and you can check out how to set those up with our videos as well. Inside of our preferences tab that we have over here, we can also set the user's preferred language and time zone in the event that we want to change it over to French. All of this can be set in the user settings and we have a dedicated video available for that as well. But let's go back over to our users and this time around, we're gonna click on potential admin CEO. Okay, as you could tell on their access rights tab in the allowed companies field, they happen to have both. And that allows him to view both and generate financial reports at the end of the quarter because he's an exec. Then, for products, context, and other records, we can limit access to one company or make it accessible to all companies. To take a look at that, let's actually go back to our main Odoo dashboard over here. We're gonna open up our sales application. Okay, let's select products up in the top heading, and this time as well, we're gonna select products. We're gonna select this standing desk BE. That little acronym at the end, you guessed it, Belgium. So this standing desk is largely the same as the US version, except that the plug is shaped differently. FYI, Belgian outlets are shaped like this. The American ones are shaped like that with a bit more freedom. So over here, now that we're back over here, you'll notice we have a company field. So down here, we have this product set to sell the bois only. If this field is left empty, it is available for sale to all companies. And that's how you do it right there. There you have it. These are the getting started configuration steps for setting up multi-company databases. For more details on configuration, refer to the accounting localization documentation specific to your country. Additionally, consult our other resources to configure the company information to get started. Go grab a snack and remember, some of these choices are permanent.